Hello, football fans. Welcome to our first post-game show of the year. This is being taped at the end of the Illinois Wesleyan victory over Hope College. The opener here at Community Day, the final score was the Titans 20, and Hope College had 16 points in the scoreboard. With me is head coach Dean Kreps. And, Coach, you and I, we've been through this way too many times together in openers uh, starting the season. I really have not much to say. How about yourself? Oh, it's tough. You know, I, I, we're just tired of, of finishing close. You know, nobody came here to be close. Nobody came here to be in the game. Uh, we've done this, like you say, too many times. We had some great individual efforts, but bottom line, we didn't get it done. We had chances, both sides of the ball. Special teams hurt us a little bit. You know, we left points on the field. Probably should have scored two more touchdowns, a field goal, an extra point, and it'd be a whole different game. A lot of woulda, coulda, shoulda once again. And as you mentioned, uh, Everybody gets some credit, and there was some good play, especially in the first half. I thought the Flying Dutchman really dominated the action on both sides of the ball. Uh, you did have some more chances to get more points on the board. It seemed to hurt you in the third quarter. Momentum definitely changed in their favor, and then it just went against us once again in the end. Well, Illinois Wesleyan's had some turnover on the defensive side of the ball. Their, their front was back, but they lost their secondary. I was happy we came out. We were able to move the ball, but again, we, we didn't finish on that opening drive. They, we could add points there. Um, and then they have a pretty veteran offense, and I thought our defense played exceptionally well, especially in the first half. And, you know, we just had a breakdown. We let one go over the top, and, you know, they put together a pretty good game plan in the second half and kept mixing it up with the short pass and the quarterback runs, and, you know, we're able to chip it up the field on us. Yeah, we scored twice. We get a uh, touchdown early. We have another chance, and then we uh, are forced to kick a field goal right at the end of the half, uh, some more possible points. They had uh, deferred their decision, received the ball to start the second half. We had a relatively short kickoff, a good return on their part, and they had a short field, and it didn't take them uh, real long to get in the end zone, and that just seemed to change the whole momentum. Yeah, they came out ready to play. Um, we were, were a little sluggish defensively right after halftime, then I thought we buttoned out and played a little bit better. And You know, again, so many good things, so many things to build on, but uh, we didn't get it done. You know, the fourth quarter, we did come back and took the lead uh, and then unfortunately uh, had the extra point blocked. Uh, our kickoff went out of bounds. Again, they have a short field, and uh, to their credit, they get down and, and punch it in. We get the ball back with a minute and a half to go. Some timeouts left. We move it down the field, but it just didn't uh, end well for the Hope College Flying Dutchman. Yeah, I would never put it on one play. I mean, the extra point certainly changed things a little bit. Uh, that gave them the option to go down and not have to score a touchdown, so it, it does – change but it's not one play I mean there there are other plays both sides of the ball that we we've got to make um, you know the, the fourth down play that uh, they picked off you know that that just can't happen you know we have a veteran receiver veteran quarterback we've got to get the first down keep the ball in play but I was happy to see us fight back in take the fourth quarter lead and you know so again good things but nobody's happy I'm not happy about it I'm not happy either coach uh, you know we uh, have First downs 25-15 in favor of the Flying Dutchman. Time of possession uh, much in our favor. The rushing was pretty even. We passed the ball better. But there were no turnovers in the ball game until the second half. And then those two interceptions, the one at the end you can forget about. We had to throw it up in the end zone, the back of the end zone. But uh, those two didn't help our cause, and we couldn't get the ball back from them. And uh, it just seems like they've been they, – they had a season last year. They won a lot of close games. We've lost a lot of, uh, of like that. And until we start winning them, uh, unfortunately, you and I might be having the same kind of conversations at the conclusion of football games. Yeah, there's all we have to do is go out and win. I mean, that's we can talk about it till we're blue in the face. You know, it's just we've got to get it done. Uh, we're playing good teams. We know that Wesleyan ten and two last year playoff team. They went in the second round and lost. But you know, darn it, we just got to do it. Well said. Uh, next week, we look ahead to a trip across the lake to uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, an old foe, really. Wisconsin Lutheran used to be in the MIAA for a few years. Uh, just give us a, a brief uh, preview of that game, if you could. Well, we started playing Wisconsin Lutheran uh, at the inception of their program, and now we've been off for a couple of years. They were in our league as a football playing member for a while. Um, great, great people there. Dennis Miller, exceptional guy that runs their program. We've had good success with them, but, you know, again, I, I expect them to be better than we left them, and, you know, they're, they're building there, and, 
you know, this is a game we need to go win. Winning isn't the only thing sports fans, but maybe pretty much it is for the Hope College football team right now. That would uh, put a smile on all our faces at the end of the game. So, Coach, uh, hope to talk to you next week in Milwaukee or we get back here to the stadium. We have two weeks in a row on the road. Um, Hope College needs a win or two. Some good things happened here today, but in the end, not good enough. It's like Groundhog's Day all over again. So our final score this first week in the opener was Illinois Wesleyan 20, Hope College 16. We hope to talk to you all soon.